Hello, and in this part of the video, I'm going to go through the ABCs, okay, and the one, two, threes. But before I get to that, I want to just talk a little bit about fingerspelling, okay? Fingerspelling, if you know how to fingerspell, you can communicate with a deaf person, okay? Think about that. Whatever word you know how to spell, if you can get it to come out of your fingers, you can communicate with a deaf person. I know of places where they say, no sign language whatsoever. Everything is fingerspelled. Okay? That would drive me crazy. But I know of schools that do that <clears throat> because it makes it more English than it does sign language. But anyway, so um, in this section we are going to learn the ABCs. For the ABCs to work though, you need to practice them. Okay? Because it's not just a matter of learning A, B, C, D, E. You have to learn how to put them together. It's kind of like when you were like learning how to write in cursive. You need to know how to make that letter B go into the letter O, which runs into the letter N, and whatever. Okay? You need to be able to do that with your finger spelling, too. Okay? So it's not just ABCs. It's a matter of being able to connect the letters. And the only way you're going to do that is through practice. Okay? The only way. You're going to do that is through practice. So when I was learning how to do this, what I would do, I'd walk back and forth across the school campus, and I would have on back then my Sony Walkman, and I'd be listening to my music, and I'd be fingerspelling the words of the song. When I started, I was getting one word out of every ten sung, fingerspelled. By the end of the semester, I was getting, I was losing one word for every ten sung because I had practiced it so many times. That's what you need to do to really be a good finger speller. Okay? So with that said, there are some things that we do as finger spellers that are just bad habits. And I want to go through some of those first because I haven't ever taught, especially a beginner, who doesn't have some of these bad habits. Okay? The worst, or the most common, actually not the worst, the most common is the one I call bouncing. All right. My name is P A U L L E. Okay. See my hand going up and down. If you can imagine reading a book while going down a bumpy road, that would be like reading the bounce. What you want to think of is your elbow is stuck in concrete. It can't move. Your hand can do most anything it wants to, but your elbow, it can't move. All right. If you can get that down, you'll have gotten most of the bad habits out. Okay. The next one is throwing the signs. All right. Uh, my name is Paul. All right. Again, it's like reading a book like this. That's not what you want. You want your signs to be even with your mouth, and you want your hand to be still, except for making the letters. Okay. You don't want it going this way or this way or up and down. Because the next thing that people do is that they go sideways. Hi, my name is Paul. It's a good thing I have a short name. If my name were Alexander, I'd run out of arm before I got to the end of my word. Okay? So, see, my hand, my arm didn't move, but my hand did all the work. That's what you need to work towards, okay? There are some other things that you can do, but if you get those straightened out, and if you just have the right way of doing it, where your hand is still, or your arm is still, and your hand does the work, because what they do is they can watch your hand and read your lips at the same time. I don't know how they do that, but they do. And if you're bouncing all of this, they can't, they can't do that. So you need to keep it even with the mouth so they can see it and you need to keep it in one spot. Alright, with that said, here are your A, B, C's, 1, 2, 3's. And I'm going to do something that's a little bit different this time. I'm going to do the 1, 2, 3's first. Why? Because I always forget to add them in at the end. So here we go. 1, 2, 3. 1. Pretty easy. 2. Pretty easy. 3. Ooh, that one looks a little different. You'll see why in a minute. But it's one, two, three instead of one, two, three. Okay? One, one, two, three. Four. Looks right. Five. Looks right. 
Okay, so now, how would you do six? No? We have a one-handed alphabet. So this turns out to be six. That's why it can't be three. Six is the littlest of the ones like this, so it's on the littlest finger. <coughs> Pardon me. Seven, eight, nine. Okay? Six, seven, eight, nine. So we got one, two, do it with me. Come on, do it with me. Three, four, five. I'll slow down a little bit here. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You just kind of shake your hand there. And a zero is zero. Okay? So those are your numbers. When you have to introduce yourself, you'll have to say, hello, my name is whatever, and my number is, and then fingerspell your number. If your number is 321, just do 321, okay? You don't have to know the hundreds and the thousands, okay? So now on to the ABCs. A, I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, help remembering it by telling you something about the sign. It helps a lot of people. It doesn't help some people. If it helps you, wonderful. It doesn't. I don't know. You'll just have to memorize them yourself, I guess. All right. A looks like an apple with a stem. A is for apple. B is like back off. Okay. It, you don't actually move your hand, but it's like B for back off. And your thumb is kind of running across the palm. C looks like the letter C. Now, it's important that in figure spelling, your palm is always out. Because we might want to do C this way, so the person can actually see the C, but you can only see the C if the palm is for you, all right? But it looks like the letter C. A, B, C, D, D. It has a circle and a stick, just like the letter D does, okay? E, every finger is on your thumb. E. I've seen E's done this way. That's fine, too. I sign it, though, like this, where every finger is on my thumb. E. F. It's like, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling fine. Okay. If, keep your fingers together. They don't have to be like crap together. Comfortably together. Okay. F. G. Two ways to do the letter G. G or G. If you're from Texas, this is the letter G. If you're from anywhere but Texas, this is the letter G. I am from Texas. There's my G. Okay? You can do G either way. If G, H, half of your fingers are laying down or curled up. Okay? H is half of your fingers. I looks like the letter I. If you put a dot right here, it kind of looks like the letter I. J. Okay, can you see the J? You just kind of draw the J under the imaginary dot there. J. K. This one takes a little coordination. Make a peace sign. Make two. Okay? Move this finger forward, center finger forward just a little bit, and take your thumb, and K or knuckle. You take your thumb and you touch the first knuckle of your middle finger. Okay? L. Looks like the letter L. J-K-L-M. In cursive, when you're writing the letter M, how many humps does it have? Tell me. It has three, right? Okay. Three fingers over your thumb make an M. In cursive, how many humps does an N have? Hey, you're right. Two. Okay. Two fingers over your thumb make an M. L M N O looks like the letter O. Again, keep the palm towards the person. P is K picking something up. So it's the same sign as K, only it has a bent wrist. P, Q, is the same thing as a G, picking something up. I can't think of anything to, no Q words come to my mind on how to do that. So quick, pick something up. I don't know what it is. Q. R. Now I know the word wrap starts with the letter W, but the way I spell wrap one finger around the other, it works just fine for me. 
S. Make a fist where your thumb is across your knuckles here like you're going to punch somebody. Don't punch somebody. Okay, S. Fist. Okay. Uh, your STU. Like a Cub Scout. Two fingers up like that, like in a Cub Scout sign. Uh, sound. All right. Give me a break. U, V looks like the letter V. W looks like the letter W. X, kind of like a little hook in the air. Don't know why that's X unless it's let me do my daily exercises. X, Y, looks like the letter Y if you look at the whole arm. And Z, you just kind of draw a Z in the air. And that's the ABCs. Looking forward to seeing you there at, at, uh, at LTC. Hope you do very, very well. Practice your finger spelling. Practice spelling your name. Practice spelling your song. Get it to where they just kind of flow off the, your fingers. Okay?